The separation of power is the genius of the Constitution of the United States. House Democrats on Tuesday introduced legislation seeking to pull back powers from the presidency. The move is part of an ongoing effort to rein in the White House in a rebuke to the administration of former Republican President Donald Trump. Representative Adam Schiff. Donald Trump made this legislation a necessity, uh, but this is bigger than about any one particular president. It's about our values, our ideals, and our future. The former president had trampled many of our sacred norms and institutions, violating laws and breaking longstanding precedent with shocking ease. That cannot happen again, no matter who is in power, whether it be a Democratic president or Republican president. House leaders said the Protecting Our Democracy Act would restore the balance of power between the executive and legislative branches of government that was written into the Constitution. As president, Trump fired a series of inspectors general, watchdogs charged with fighting corruption at federal agencies, something the new bill looks to prevent. Among other things, the act would put new limits on the use of presidential pardons, prohibit self-pardons, and strengthen measures to prevent foreign election interference or illegal campaign activity by White House officials. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. We have to codify this so that no president of whatever party can ever assume that he or she has the power to usurp the power of the other branches of government. Schiff, a lead sponsor of the act, said Democratic President Joe Biden's White House had been consulted on the bill's contents. He said he hoped for a House vote this fall, but the path forward is uncertain. Democrats hold only a slim House majority, and the Republican caucus stands firmly behind Trump who is expected to run for re-election in 2024 and remains the party's most influential leader. Whose signature is it? 